Hi, this is David Stevenson with Dream Guitars. Today I'm going to share a few insights on the piece Torija, which is the one that I play when I'm demonstrating all these amazing classical guitars here at Dream Guitars. Torija was composed by Federico Moreno Toroba in the late 1960s and it was published in 1970. Segovia made a recording of these pieces, The Castles of Spain, in 1969. And uh, it's been a favorite uh, of his and an encore that he played many times in concert. Taroba lived from 1891 to 1982. He composed operas, orchestral pieces, piano works, but he's mostly remembered for uh, his contributions to the guitar repertoire. The Castles of Spain are a collection of short character pieces. They don't really try to evoke a building, per se, a castle, but they're probably better understood by their subtitles. The subtitle for Torija is simply Elegy, which is a serious tone poem, uh, maybe a lament, um, and this piece uh, I think evokes a certain sadness and uh, beauty. As it is with so much of the classical guitar repertoire, you need to be aware of layering in the voices. There's a, there's a melody that needs to stand out and be supported by the chord structure underneath. note on the top is the one I'm trying to hear, or here. The note on top is the melody. And it's not just when a chord is played, but uh, in the opening line of the piece, there's that melody, which is followed sort of as an echo. Which I play softer. Depending on which edition you look at, you'll probably find variations of this one very powerful chord near the end. The original chord in the original publication by Taroba uh, uses this, which uh, is the correct chord and the one that should be used. Segovia, for some reason, thought that chord should be voiced up here. But I, I believe that uh, it speaks much better uh, and brings us to the closing material um, if you use the original chord. I like the fact that after these A's, falling into that chord, it resolves up and down. The A goes to B flat and it goes down to F sharp as well. So I think that's the, uh, definitely the chord that needs to be played there. When switching these chords at the ninth and seventh frets, you want to minimize the string noise. If you, if you keep the chord fully formed, you get a lot of that noise. What I do is I keep my second finger in contact with the string, though I release the pressure, and that helps stabilize, stabilize my hands as I move from chord to chord. And eliminates almost all of the string noise. Interestingly, I do a, an edit of the piece for the Dream Guitars website. I don't start at the beginning, but I do play all the material in the piece. But for this version now, I'm going to play from the beginning. 